The lasso tool is the selection tool I use most often, and yet it is the selection tool I use the least for creating an initial selection. In other words, because the lasso tool is one that allows you to draw free-form selections, it's too labor-intensive to use for drawing a selection manually in most cases, but it's perfect for cleaning up a selection. In this lesson, I'll show you exactly what I mean. To get started, we'll want to choose the lasso tool, so I'll go to the toolbox and click the button for the lasso tool, or press the letter L, as in lasso, on the keyboard. As with the other selection tools, I have the option to create a new selection, add to an existing selection, subtract from an existing selection, or intersect with an existing selection. In general, I use keyboard shortcuts for these options, as I'll explain in a moment. I can also feather a selection in the process of creating it, but I generally avoid feathering selections initially, saving that step for later in my workflow. I'll also make sure that the anti-alias checkbox is turned on to help smooth out any jagged edges along selection lines that go anything other than vertical or horizontal. As you can see, the settings here are rather straightforward for the lasso tool, and in fact the tool itself is quite simple. All we need to do is click and drag to draw a selection. And of course, I could add to a selection by holding the Shift key, or I can subtract from a selection by holding the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Macintosh. And if I wanted to intersect with a selection, for example, if I have several areas that are selected and I only want one of them to actually be selected, I can hold both the Shift and Alt keys on Windows or the Shift and Option keys on Macintosh and then draw a selection around the area that I want to retain. In other words, I'm just freeform drawing my selection. But as you can imagine, for example, if I wanted to select the sky here, this could be a bit time consuming. However, it's great when it comes to cleaning up an existing selection. So I'll go ahead and load a selection that I've already saved as part of this particular image. I'll choose Select, Load Selection from the menu, and then choose my initial sky selection, setting it as a new selection, and click OK. As you can see, I have a selection of the sky. But if you zoom in closely, you'll see that there's actually quite a few problems with this selection. For example, you can see several areas of the building that are included in the selection that's only supposed to include the sky. It's important to zoom in closely on your image when you're working with the lasso tool in this way. In part, so that you can actually see these sorts of problems, and also so that you can draw to correct them a little more accurately. So in this case, I need to subtract this area from the selection. So I'll hold the Alt key on Windows, or the Option key on Macintosh, and then simply click and drag to draw a lasso around this area. Once I've fully enclosed it, I can release the mouse, and that area will be subtracted from the selection. When I need to clean up an area that falls along the edge of the object I'm trying to select, I need to be a little bit more careful. For example, here I would align myself reasonably close with the point where my selection first strays away from the line, in this case between the building and the sky. I'll then hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Macintosh in order to access the Subtract from Selection option, and then I'll click and hold the mouse button. I'll then draw my selection edge, being very careful along the edge of the object that I want to select versus not select. In other words, drawing a careful line along the edge between the building and the sky. I'll then loop around and go back to my original starting point. If you can't find your original starting point, just get as close as you can. When you release the mouse, a selection will be drawn from there to your original starting point in a straight line. So in this case, I was careful along the edge of the building, and when I release the mouse, that area will be cleaned up. If I need to add any areas to the selection, obviously I would use the Shift key to access the Add to Selection option. I can continue in this manner checking the entire area of my selection, using the Space Bar to access the Hand tool so that I can click and drag to move the image. Anytime I see areas that need correction, I'll simply use the Alt or Option key to subtract from selection, or the Shift key to add to selection. Again, the only time I need to be especially precise is when I'm drawing along the boundary of the area I want to select. Once I've traced carefully along that area, I can simply loop back around to my original starting point.
and then I can continue panning around the image looking for all the areas that I need to clean up. The lasso tool is remarkably flexible, and yet it can be very labor-intensive if you attempt to use it to draw a selection from scratch. The key is to employ this tool to make the most of its strengths, cleaning up small details in selections created using other tools.